everyone, it is your girl, Boss Lady Lexi. Woo, y'all. Let me explain why I have this bonnet on my head. Let's just take that out, get that out of the way. Y'all, these winds are 70 miles an hour. It's like we're in um, the Wizard of Oz or the Three Little Pigs where it was so windy. Everything is everywhere. My roof is falling off the house like the black little pieces that protects the sun from um, the sun from I guess the damage in the house and all of that crap. I was like, oh my gosh. I looked in the backyard and I was like, what in the world is that? And then I said, oh my gosh, it is pieces of the roof. So you got pieces of the back of the roof coming off. You got pieces of the front of the roof coming off. I was like, OMG. I was like, luckily, um, I'm not staying um, in Virginia this weekend, but it's all over the DMV area. I'm like, oh my gosh. Wow. They didn't even let the kids go to school today because um, the weather. So what I was doing while I was sitting in the house and I was going to the college to take my final exam, but the college is closed because of the st um, this windstorm. So I was like, oh, hmm, when are they gonna extend that? I don't know. But anywho, I am on my way to Baltimore to get Christopher's haircut and um, go to my daughter's house and wait for her um, to get home. But I tried to leave out in, you know, ample enough time before the workers got off work, which I am ahead of the game, thank you, Lord. And I have to, um, I have to, um, Oh, I have to call and put some money on my Easy Pass because I don't know where we're going. There might be um, toll roads that you can go through and all of that stuff. So I don't know. But it's better to be safe than to be sorry. But I stayed in the house today and um, worked on some of the wig units that I have to, you know, fix them up and see if they could be flat ironed and all of this good stuff so I got a big major surprise coming because I didn't think this little thing was going to be of any be of really any good but hey and that was all I done did and I packed my bag and of course I sat there the whole time saying don't forget your bathing suit don't forget your bathing suit and what did I forget y'all <laughs> you got that right the bathing suit so I hope that I'll be able to find one like in Lane Bryant or something I needed a new one anyway so or I'll look on um, Facebook marketplace or um, offer up and see if I can find one and it ain't gonna cost but a couple of pennies to go and throw it in the washing machine and wash it to make sure you get all you know other people's germs off if they had it, you know, tried it on and wore it or something. Um, that's about it. Um, my pain level for today is still the same. I still am not able to, like, stand straight up. But, as I said, I'm not going to let that stop me from doing what I have to do today. And I really didn't have time to eat any soup today, so... Today, um, I'm still on the liquid diet, but today I had just had to grab me a bowl of cereal with cashew milk. And guess what? Gee, my golly, I left the daggone blender in the house once again. Um, because I was going to take that back to Walmart. Y'all forgive me for chewing this gum. Because I don't even chew gum. So, when I asked for it, I know my daughter probably looked at me like, Really, Craig, you want some gum? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she wants some gum. And I hate filming this way because it just makes me look so wide and bigger than what I am. And it's amazing how the camera does 
put an extra 10 to 20 pounds on you. But, I, I don't know. It's just not right and it's just not fair. But, I'm going to get on down this 495 corridor. Um, and I'm going to let y'all see what's going on here. Oh my goodness, this wind is disrespectful, honey. Oh my goodness. I don't know how the airplanes are flying today. Ooh, I know it's gonna be, I guess that's can be a little, little, little. I guess that could be considered as turbulence. I'm not sure, but oh my gosh. I got you gotta hold on to the stern reel really, really tight in. Because the wind is just shifting. There's a shifting in the atmosphere and it all belongs to me. There's a shifting in the atmosphere and it all belongs to me. Blessings are flowing. Blessings are flowing. Gifts are flowing to me. There's a shifting in the atmosphere and it all belongs there's a shifting in the atmosphere and it all belongs and it all belongs to me and i give him the highest praise which is hallelujah hallelujah for the shifting and what i'm talking about is the shifting in the atmosphere i'm talking about the blessing the blessings that are flowing my way. I am no longer going to be bound by the things that have happened to me. I want to be able to now live and, and not exist and just let God handle, you know, all of the bad things that have happened to me. And I just want to go forth now and inspire so many people that, yes, you too may have gone through a lot but the bible says joy comes in the morning and it may not be the next day morning but it does come in the morning so just look at it um as a st that little stepping stone as a blessing for you that you've made it through whatever situation that it was that you had to go through god is going to bless you and you're going to be rewarded because i'm being rewarded because there's a shifting in the atmosphere and it all belongs to me there's a shifting in the atmosphere and it all belongs to me and you never know who you may stumble up upon you never know who may just step into your life and they'll be able to really bless you and help you through whatever you know journey that you're trying to reach your destinations your goals your aspirations just keep going don't let li the limitations of oh i don't have this and i don't have that and how can i do this and how can i do that if you stay in prayer i am telling you you can make it you can and you will make it don't let anything limit you don't let anything stop you if it's your weight you you have the ability to do something about that if it's being in a domestic situation you have something you can do with that too get up and leave don't go back don't look back look ahead and just know that your help and your strength is coming from the Lord. He is telling you to get out of whatever situation that you are in that is holding you back, that is bounding you from reaching your goal and reaching your destination. If it's those so-called people that you call friends and they are not supportive, then you know what? You don't need them because you can always show people, show people better than you can tell them. So just remember that you are a special person and you want to do better for yourself then you deserve to do better for yourself just reach down and say you know what today is today don't wait for tomorrow because tomorrow may never come today is your day to do whatever it is you have to do and reach whatever goals you want to reach in life It 
It's your girl, Boss Lady Lexi. I forgot to close out the vlog on yesterday. Um, so I'm just ending it right here today with letting you all know that we slept with no lights at the hotel in Aberdeen because the lights were out due to the windstorm. However, um, we plugged in our phones and everything, thinking in grace that the lights would come back on. <laughs> They didn't. We had to wash up and everything in cold water this morning because, you know, we was not going on our little trip with no little funky bodies. But anywho, the lights did come back on at 8 o'clock this morning as we were leaving out the hotel to get on the road. So I will see you all on the road. Bye.